The Travis County District Attorney gets 45 days in jail for driving drunk. Rosemary Limber removed from the courtroom in handcuffs. New tonight, the video showing how she acted in jail after the arrest. What is wrong with you people? I mean, what is wrong with you? Y'all have put me in jail. Sit down. Sit down. What am I attacking? Sit down. You're getting too close. You need to back up. Yes, you are. You need to back up. How about you take me to a phone, okay? Have a seat. From putting people behind bars to being behind bars herself. Travis County District Attorney Rosemary Lemberg is in jail tonight. She pleaded guilty today to driving drunk. She was sentenced to 45 days in jail and fined $4,000 for that incident that happened a week ago. Lemberg is refusing to resign from the DA's office, but pressure is mounting after video from her night in jail was aired on KXAN tonight at 6. Our lead investigator Chris Willis is here with more. And good evening. The position of District Attorney of Travis County is arguably the most powerful DA in the entire state of Texas. And there's no doubt this video released up by KXAN today will be a tough obstacle to overcome, especially as the pressure is mounting for Lemberg to step down. The video confirms what the police report states, that the night of her arrest, District Attorney Rosemary Lemberg was combative, resisting, and refusing to comply with law enforcement. Turn around and face the wall. After repeatedly yelling at jailers and kicking on her cell door, jailers rushed her cell and strapped her into an emergency restraint chair and placed a spit mask over her head. Lindberg laughs and then continues to tell them to, quote, call Greg, referring to Travis County Sheriff Greg Hamilton. Did you call Greg? No, did you? Did you let him know you had me in custody? But you've been arrested for DWI. That's Deputies say the district attorney also attempted to scratch and grab an officer's hand. And when her blood was drawn, she remained strapped into the restraint chair. And her spit mask was removed, but later put back on. Her attorney says the mask was not because she spit on anyone, but rather to conceal her identity. The mask was put on her, and you will see this. The jailer, will, when she says, why are you putting this mask on me? The jailer will say, to protect your identity. And that seems to contradict the video. But concealing the identity of someone arrested for DWI is not standard procedure in the Travis County Jail. Lemberg will lose her license for 180 days. She was also fined $4,000. Her blood alcohol level came back at 0.23. That is nearly three times the legal limit. We're in the studio tonight. Chris Willis, KXAN News. Following her arrest last weekend, this was Lindbergh's statement addressing her time in jail. I apologize to the citizens of Travis County and specifically to the dedicated officer and employees who had to deal with my violation and disrespectful conduct after my arrest. Lindbergh did not speak today to the media at the sentencing. So what is next? As we've been reporting, D.A. Limberg has said she will not resign. She plans to finish out her term. We told you on Wednesday how attorney Carrie O'Brien has officially filed a petition to have her temporarily removed from office. He put it in perspective for us when we asked why he is stepping in with this action. But I did it because the short answer is it was the right thing to do. We don't have to demonize the person, but we need to demonize, demonize the conduct. Because it's wrong, it kills people, enough is enough. The state and local government code has three reasons for removal of a district attorney. Incompetency, official misconduct, or intoxication on or off duty caused by drinking an alcoholic beverage. However, the process is a lengthy one. If D.A. Lindbergh is removed or steps down, Governor Rick Perry would name her successor.